Hi everyone, so we're going to be doing a math activity today, but it's a scavenger hunt. And it's a way to just kind of check on our math skills, but at the same time, learn how to navigate Google, Google Slides. Okay, or at least check how well we know Google Slides. So in our first slide here, um, I just want to show you some of the functionality. So if you tap on this and then press the play button, it will read the question to you. Okay, so what you're going to be doing is looking at what it asks you to do. And for this one, the functionality is basically, let's write an expression. Do we know how to click into a box and add text? Now, I want to show you down here that there are some hints on almost every single one of these slides. And if it says here, Chromebooks and computers, that's going to be Chromebooks, MacBooks, desktop, um, computers, HPs, Dell, whatever you have. And then we have another section here for iPads. So if we click here um, on almost every slide, you can click on a link and it will show you a quick little video on what it's asking you to do. So this one is asking you to write an expression. So it's basically just showing you click into that box and start typing. And for the iPad, um, it will show you a different little video and how to use the functionality on that device. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to go to the next challenge, which will be voice typing. Now this one, the hint does not include the Chromebooks because I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it on the Chromebook and computers. Uh, but for the iPad, you may need to click on here um, if this functionality doesn't work for you, but it should work in Chrome. So you'll see that it says go to tools in the menu bar and click on the voice type speaker notes to compare A and B. Now then it says if you're just really having a lot of trouble with that, that you can just click in the boxes to type. But we do want you to try and I think everyone should be able to be successful using these directions. So this is the Google slide notes down here. And then there are a few extra directions if you need it. So I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to click on tools and then go to voice type speaker notes. You may need to allow your uh, microphone to access the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click and it will pick up everything you start saying. So you just want to start with these statements, which are A and B are the same because and then A and B are different because um, and put your answers. So I'm going to try that. A and B are the same because, and then A and B are different because, and then click on the speaker again to make it stop. Now you'll see you might need to go back down here because I didn't speak clearly or it was at the beginning and it said MB, so I can just fix it and say A and B. Okay, but you need to make sure that you put your answers in there. All right, so now we're going, I'm going to close out of that, X out of that. The next one is dragging things and just following the directions to do what it says. And again, you have the hints with links to little videos on how to do those things. The next one is going to be using the line feature, so drawing a line. And again, you have your hints down here with links to the videos. Um, for this one, I wanted to kind of show you that this is a square. So remember, a square has something, um, and that's why they only put one label of units. That's a hint about a square. So you see they add a text box, and they're going to put four units, and then they're going to line it up over there. Um, and so that's how you're going to put that information in there and use a text box, but it does ask you to calculate the area and the perimeter. So I'm going to tell you that you need to add more text boxes here to add in what is the area and what is the perimeter. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one, which is drawing shapes, dragging shapes. And so up here is the shape button, but these links will tell you a little bit more on what you need to do and how to make them colorful. For this one, this is actually doing um, um, inserting a picture. So these links will show you how to do that. You do need a piece of paper, 
that you will be making a number line on and then you'll be taking a picture of your work and inserting it. For this one, I wanna go over in a little bit more detail. Definitely, I wanna show you, um, you're gonna be using some apps. For this particular um, video, it shows you two different things going on at the same time. So you're gonna to wanna to watch the left first to show, and you may need to watch it a couple times because because it goes a little fast. All right, so um, again, there's that, and then this is how you insert a link. So there's different functionality, and now I'm going to actually show you that functionality by clicking on the clock app. And then you'll see it already puts the clocks. Now, how many equivalent fractions to two thirds can you show on the face of a clock? So I need to click onto the clock that I'm working with. And then down here, it showed that you can uh, make different sections. So I'm going to do six and say OK. And then there was a way to um, add color to that, which that is not for this particular, oh, I see. So we can add color to it there. I was doing the background. Okay, so after you do that, um, you can also add text. There is a way to add numbers. So you might wanna play around with this because I did it the other day, but there's a way to add numbers or maybe you just do some writing um, and you can, you know, it's the second one so uh, well anyways you can play around with that there are different uh, functionality there but here was that share button where you will be copying images you can copy the image and then you can drag it back to this document all I did was drag that up to the other tab and then it is going to put my image there and then you can resize it, play around with that. And then here is where you would go back to that page and you would copy the link and then you would go back and put the link there. Okay, so have fun with that one. You're gonna need to play around with that one a little bit. Now for this one, you're going to be creating a new slide. If you watch these little videos, it does show you that you will do that over here. There are three different slide layouts. You might wanna um, look to see which one you want to fill in. You'll have to insert it. Um, and then it says you can add other images by clicking on the Math Learning Center apps. Um, if I do that and I add this slide, I need to make sure that I put my name. And then I'm going to talk about how I use math. How would I do that? Well, I'm going to need a text box. And then maybe I can add number one, this is how I use it, or maybe I change that to a bullet point. And then if I wanna add images, I would go back to this slide and then I could click on this link to see if there's anything else that I wanted to add there. Now on the last slide, it's a reflection sheet. And this is really just, you're gonna drag this and say, okay, I feel like I know how to add text. I'm a master at that. Um, using my voice, I kind of had a little bit of trouble with, so I'm going to say I have not mastered that yet. And then you're going to fill that out for each one of these slides or ideas, and then you're going to type in here if you have any questions or other things that you'd like to learn more about. All right, have fun, and remember when you are done that you need to turn in your assignment or mark it as done. All right, see you later.